Hey, you fellow traders. Happy New Year. I hope everybody's off to a great start. I know the market is already on the move a little bit. So far, what I'm looking at for the Euro USD, uh, if we're looking at a little bit higher time frame, we've been on an uptrend for a long time, and I'm noticing there's a pretty steep break of our main average trend line and we've already gone outside the extreme if we assume that was sort of a channel of a gap and even coming along that way we've already broken the long-term trend line i'm looking for a little bit of a retracement back to come back short off of here uh, but it does look like we're gonna have our price come down at least to here i would probably even expect it might even come down as low as here down around the 108.96, 108, uh, 109 levels, uh, but we'll have to definitely see what comes from the non-farm payrolls coming up here soon. Um, right now, I'm kind of in a challenge trading account. This is a 5K. I'll talk about that here in just a little bit in the video. Uh, this is the four hour. We look out a little bit further. We've been kind of ranging around for a while. Uh, it looks like we might try to break up out of this range. I'm um, looking probably to come short off of the 112 area. The 1, 112 6 is probably going to be where that happens. Uh, but for now, I'm kind of thinking a little bit of a consolidation around until that NFP happens. And I'm looking to make sure I make some type of a trade each day. I do like to try to trade day to day as well. Uh, right now, I'm kind of trading this up into some cells. I've got a cell limit here as well. Uh, that's going to take that down further. And if it fails from there, I'm going to try to sell again off the top. And may even look for a retest buy up into that uh, cell here to try to recover some of that gap and loss there. So I'm kind of looking to plan it for both ways uh, right now. Like I say, though, I'm just looking for, for that bit of consolidation. And more than likely we're going to come down at least to the 109 8 110 uh, even range again i would expect uh, before probably going higher uh, worst case scenario we could be looking at something along the lines of breaking down recessed here and then coming down further and then coming back off of the 109 levels to raise up uh, that does tend to line up a little bit as well off of a major kind of a zone or level there. Even if you look, I like to use the, the long wicks uh, and the long uh, pushes, the hard drives to try to determine good levels. So that's a possibility as well. And then we could also just have a retest of this zone. But we're going to see exactly what happens on the non-farm payroll. I'm mostly expecting it to go up to that 112. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the next uh, thing that I want to talk about, and that's the program that I signed up for to start the year out with. Uh, I've already done a challenge with these guys before, and I'm going to try a second time. My first challenge, I kind of let that one go. I didn't finish. I had some personal things in life kind of get in the way and kind of make me rather inconsistent but I'm gonna try again I'm actually in the high stakes program but they do actually offer quite a few different programs for uh, depending on which one might best fit your needs and interest uh, the boot camp is gonna be the best one for your dollar uh, you're looking at a little bit more of a challenge to get in uh, you also have lower leverage, uh, lower profit targets, but your max loss is also smaller. does have a $1 entry fee. That's something I may sign up for as well and just try that out. Uh, right now I'm doing the high stakes. But each one pretty much follows about the same type of scaling program. They have multiple levels. And each time you hit the next target, uh, you get a payout uh, split. The first number is going to be your percentage, so the second number is their percentage. So once you make it to the second level, you'll make 75% payout. They'll take 25% of the profit. And your uh, profit target, you're going to be looking to make uh, 1500 
So 75% of that $1,500, you are looking at about $1,150 of that share. You'd be getting about $500 once you reach that first profit target uh, and so on and so forth. But each time you hit that target, they're going to raise you and bump you up to the next level. So once you make that $12,500 on $250, then you come back and get the next account at $275 and so on. Uh, each uh, account has multiple different levels, multiple different funding amounts, multiple different balances. Uh, but generally, your minimum, maximum loss, profit targets uh, will stay the same as you scale up. Uh, each one has different specifications. Uh, the boot camp does have a little bit more flexibility in regards to how many times you can basically violate before they basically terminate your account. That's one good benefit. The only downside is you have a lower leverage. Uh, if you're trying to stay within the risk parameters, though, that lower leverage wouldn't really be much of an issue. Uh, you are allowed to trade the news. Uh, you can use uh, different various strategies. They just don't like the, the bracket type strategies where you put a buy stop and sell stop around the price right before news. Uh, but basically two minutes before, two minutes after is basically their rule on most accounts. They do allow you to hold overnight and weekend. So if you're doing a standard type hedging, uh, this would work out well for that. Indices over the weekend do carry very high swaps though. So they'll charge you a little bit extra. They do allow trading with indices, metals, uh, and some accounts will actually allow crypto. But each one gives different leverages based on what uh, instrument you're trying to trade. Uh, they do have a 3% daily pause on some funded accounts and one of their other challenge programs does have that 3% pause, uh, but you are allowed to restart the next day as long as you haven't reached your maximum drawdown on the account before they terminate it. Uh, make sure you check out the terms and conditions, but these are generally uh, pretty much what you see is what you're going to be facing once you sign into the account and start uh, the funded trader part. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Hyper Growth. This is the second uh, program that they do offer. Uh, they've got uh, three different entry levels for that. Uh, and also you have different fees. It does give a little bit more leverage. All of their challenges have an unlimited time limit. So that's one good thing. Uh, same rules with the profit splits and levels. And this will be your target to move to the next level would be 10% on this one, 6% uh, will be the maximum drawdown, and 3% for a daily pause uh, if you are doing the hyper growth program. Uh, basically this one though will double your account on every time you reach a target uh, and everything will remain the same throughout. Uh, this one does grow up to 4 million, gives you up to 1 to 30. Again, with those drawdowns, it shouldn't be much of an issue. They allow metals, indices, and Forex, uh, FX currency, which is what I prefer to stick to and will be sticking with. Uh, and they do use MT5. You can do hedge, and they also have a desk, web, and mobile version. So uh, quite a few different ways to trade. Uh, this one also has offers a no minimum trading day for requirements or completing. So that will be one option if you have a high return strategy that you're running. Uh, same rules with the swaps. Uh, and you complete the level immediately when you reach the profit target. And you'll get a maximum capital valuation. Uh, maximum capital per trader can have so basically you can have 410k or 220k accounts all adding to the max capital of 40k so that they offer you to allow and hold multiple accounts so you can do a boot camp account and a hyper growth or a boot camp account and a high stakes which is what i'll probably be setting up uh, most do carry that 14 day rule and 14 day payout cycle uh, and you want to make sure that you're staying active, uh, which is why I love trading day to day. The hyper growth does allow you to grow a little bit faster, uh, but it does have a little bit higher starting requirement. Uh, each page will have a little bit of FAQs and reviews. I think they're quite decent. They're actually based out of uh, Israel. Uh, they also have a UK office as well. Uh, they're quite reputable, been around since 2016. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at high stakes. That's the one I'm going to be doing. Get that thing going here. And I'm actually doing the 5K, but they do offer four different levels on those. Uh, for the one that I'm doing, uh, this one has a two-phase evaluation. 
Uh, maximum loss is 10%. Daily loss is 5%. Uh, the profit target is 8% on the first phase, but only 5% the second phase. This one here seems to be uh, my best fit. One of the other programs may be a better fit for other traders, or you may want to try multiple. Uh, but I'm doing this one here as well. I've already started that account today. Once you reach the profit target uh, and become funded in all of their accounts you do get a refund of your deposit that you made to start the challenge and the ten dollar reward is actually a credit so that you could put towards another challenge or another account uh, account if you want to pass one and then start another one as well right behind it uh, here are some of the specifications for it this one does give the most leverage although it will reduce your leverages based on what you're trading uh, including the indices, metals, FX, and I believe somewhere on crypto you get 1 to 2. Uh, indices, I think, are 1 to 25. Metals are 1 to 33. And FX is the 1 to 100, I believe. I'll have to double check that, though. Uh, this one will allow scaling up to half a million. Uh, and there's that maximum limit. So if I get this, I can get one of any other account that they offer. Weekend uh, is allowed with indices uh it's going to be a high swap uh, so same rules there holding trades over news is allowed the two minute rule that's what i was referring to a minute ago is not allowed as well as that bracket rule so just make sure you're paying attention to that when major news breaks are coming uh, overnights and weekends are allowed uh, hedging is allowed as well i'm going to be doing hybrid hedging so i'm going to be using standard trades with a uh, standard stop loss and you know one thing about this challenge that i can tell you is that You'll have to make at least a half a half a percent profit of what you start with that day to be counted as profit, and you're required to have three profitable days. So as long as you're hitting more than that half a percent, more than three days, you'll pass that part of the phase. And just want to make sure that you're hitting that and reaching that uh, profit target of eight percent. If you hit that in one trade, you're still going to have to trade two other days to make profit as well. The main thing thereafter is consistency. Uh, I don't see any regards to uh, not being allowed to trade any type of style. So I would believe that uh, with my planning and the way I'm planning to try to trade with the hybrid hedging and increasing the size gradually, I believe that should be an acceptable strategy. I'm not, I haven't passed the challenge yet with that strategy, so I can't say for sure yet. I can certainly find out. It's only $40 for me to try, so I'll just give it a try from here. And these are the different payout ratios. It does offer a little bit higher payout ratio, uh, but each one is going to be a 10% target for the next level. You also have that 10% drawdown, and then after this, they have different things worked out for you uh, if you should get that high. So I'm going to find out what's at the end of this one and at the end of probably one of the other programs as well. Uh, so, let me see, this is always an important one. These are the the things you can't do with the, with the expert advisor. Can't tech scout, copy trades, uh, latency trading or arbitrage trading, uh, reverse arbitrage, hedge art, basically any type of arbitrage trading and no emulation. So any account. Uh, using those types will be canceled, banned, and not refunded. So make sure you pay attention to that. Uh, make sure you're checking out your robots to make sure they're not going to violate any of these rules if you're applying any of the expert advisors to your trading account. Uh, they will certainly cut you off, and I believe they will not wait to do so. Uh, and they will stop your uh, expert advisors during the rollover period when there's low volume, so you can not have to worry about large spreads and stopping your uh, bots so uh, it says GMT plus three though so I may have to check into that uh, that may be something to look at if you're running a bot uh, so just some different things to look in they've got a lot of different useful information I've already signed up once you sign up uh, make an account if you would use the link below that would benefit the channel I'd really appreciate that but if you do choose to sign up with them uh, once you get into the client area that's when you'll purchase your challenge so make sure you look through these and decide before you sign up uh, which one you may want to go for 
uh, and then once you sign up and make the account that's when you'll be able to purchase the account and then they will usually send you your login information and start your challenge account within about 20 to 30 minutes uh, when I signed up earlier today it took about 15 and then I got my login information and signed in and was already downloaded the MT5 and signed in as well so everything has gone pretty smoothly on the second round and we'll just see how everything turns out uh, if you want to give it a try though certainly feel free to and let me know how it turns out for you uh, maybe if you're a little bit more confident you could go for a higher uh, account size but just keep in mind that if you have trouble growing smaller accounts uh, the larger size accounts may give you just as much if not more trouble uh, because of the different numbers and the psychology involved uh, basically if you're looking at everything in percentages and if you have no trouble or very little trouble with small accounts then this may be something to consider uh, if you have a very low hit rate or have, still have trouble making a profit it may not be the best idea to give this a try or at least try with one of the smaller accounts uh, because as you go up in size they dramatically increase in price so uh, just keep that in mind. One thing to remember though is what you put in is what you are losing. So if anything goes wrong, anything fails down the line, so on and so forth, they don't like the way I trade, they cut me off, I'm only losing 40 bucks. No big deal for me. So uh, just make sure you keep that in mind when you're signing up, uh, what you might be paying and what you may uh what you may be looking at in terms of risk. I know through regulation last year, these guys had no problems. They came through with flying colors. Uh, they've basically complied with all the rules and regulations. And as far as I know, they're still open to U.S. clients, uh, which is another benefit. I know some of these challenges aren't open to U.S. clients or they'll allow you to basically make some trades. And then basically once you pass, they say, oh, well, sorry, we can't serve you uh but they seem to have no issues with usa clients to my knowledge of this video so uh, certainly give them an inspection a look over and see if any of these programs are right for you i'm gonna carry on with the 5k and see how that turns out uh, we got two phases to go i've got to make three three profitable days 5% maximum daily cutout, 10% maximum drawdown loss, and I only need to make an 8% target. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes. In the meantime, uh, have a happy new year, and hopefully everything gets off to a great start. I'll see you in the next video.